These days, our interactions with technology are increasing at a rapid pace. From products like ChatGBT to automated phone systems, we often find ourselves talking to machines as if they were human. But while some of us might find that cold and scary, for others, it's exactly the interaction we need. Elise Preston has the story from Southern California. Hi, Lukey. This is the start of a futuristic friendship for Luke Sepulveda. In different spaces, you don't know how he's going to react. So I was just hoping for the best. Ella Sepulveda's four-year-old son is on the autism spectrum. She wants to make sure he can communicate with the world around him. He was locked into that robot. Yeah. That's You're sweet. smiling. I know, that's sweet. From the inside out. <laughs> just knowing that a robot can engage his attention, yeah. that makes me happy. Here at the Santa Ana Public Library, robots are specially programmed to teach children with autism. One in 36 children in the U.S. is on this spectrum. That is the square. Touch the square. This is one of the first libraries in the country to provide this pricey program free. Access is a big issue, especially to new technology. Librarian Cheryl Everly launched the program during the pandemic, hoping to help fill gaps of services for children of color who are often underserved and diagnosed when they're older. Every time I see, you know, a kid on the spectrum, a neurodivergent kid, lock in and interact with the robot and get that, that moment where they are bonded and they understand, it's amazing. Bonds created with the human help of Larry Singer. Human beings have emotions. Human beings get tired. Human beings get frustrated. A robot, same response every single time. The tone is always the same. They're not critical. They're always comforting. I am proud of you. Aww, she's proud you of you. Know. My hope and dream for him is really just do your best. You're awesome and you're loved. For CBS Saturday Morning, Elise Preston, Santa Ana, California. Now that's a reason for there you a robot. Thank you. You're awesome and you're loved. We've yes. been joking about how there's so many things with robots, it gets scary. Yes. That's a great way when you can reach a child that maybe you couldn't have reached another way.